Potatoes are one of the most rewarding crops to grow because it's always such an amazing discovery when you dig down into the soil and turn it up and you find all of those potatoes that have been growing hidden out of sight all these months. Today, we are going to plant our potatoes. So we were gifted a wonderful order of a variety of colorful potatoes from a subscriber of ours. These came from Stark Brothers and they are Huckleberry Gold, Russian Banana Fingerling, Adirondack Red, Adirondack Blue, and Dark Red Norland. And just for fun, we've got some grocery store potatoes that had started growing eyes and we set them aside to have some Idaho spuds and I have a couple more that I'm gonna show you. You can do the same thing with. I also got these a no-name blue potato from a mix medley at the grocery store as well. We're gonna plant them all. It is important to note that if you choose to have grocery store potatoes in your garden, there is a chance that you could be bringing in disease with those, but if they're organic potatoes from the grocery store, most of the time they're gonna grow just fine for you and not have any disease problems. But it might be a good idea to put them somewhat further away from your other potatoes. All right, I am gonna go through each bag and decide which ones need to be cut. This one is about the size of an egg. So it has two eyes for sure, possibly more, but you don't want a big one like this to go in the ground. You're gonna to wanna to cut that in half. When you go to cut, you're gonna to wanna to look where the eyes are and try to get two eyes per side. You can cut them in half, or if they're really big like this one, you could even cut them in quarters if you had a lot of eyes. You want to make sure there's at least two eyes on each section that you've cut. There you go. That's pretty much it. If you are in a cold, wet climate, you would want to dust these with sulfur powder or wait a few days for those cut ends to dry. But it's warm enough here, we can get these right in the ground. When you're choosing a spot to plant your potatoes, make sure it gets at least six to eight hours of sunlight. They do need lots of sun to grow, those beautiful tubers. Planting potatoes is quite simple. In fact, lots of people accidentally plant them in their compost without even meaning to. They grow pretty easy. You're just gonna take them and put them cut side down every six to eight inches in good soil. If your soil's not great, you wanna give them more space so they'll have more energy to form roots. We have this wonderful compost. It's going to grow them really well. They like a compost rich soil, so this is gonna be perfect for them. I am gonna set them all alternating in the bed and then I'm gonna cover them with another layer of compost.
So as you can see, I have a row of each kind with slightly different spacing on some. The fingerlings I put closer together. They're going to form smaller tubers. And then these big huckleberry golds. I gave them more space because they were a bigger tuber. So use your best judgment. But now we have them all in place and we just have to cover them with some good quality compost. Some people like to add fertilizer when they are planting their potatoes, but our compost is so rich in nutrients that we don't feel like we have to add fertilizer yet. If we do, we might add some bone meal because like all root crops, a good dose of phosphorus is a good idea. And speaking of root crops, we are planting on a waning moon, which means the full moon has just passed and this is the week after the full moon and we are also planting in the sign of Capricorn which is a good sign for planting. So we are planting this by the lunar cycle coincidentally and somewhat on purpose. Something that we haven't done a lot of in the past but we're going to try experimenting this year and we'll see how it goes. I didn't plant my grocery store potatoes in the same bed. I'm actually going to cover these and I'm going to have another bed that's going to be sweet potatoes and then after that I'll do a bed with the grocery store potatoes. Potatoes are planted. You want to make sure that they are all evenly covered well by a couple of inches of soil or composted soil. This stuff is great if you have access to a compost facility that makes their own soil. I highly recommend it. I did mark in between the rows with some stakes because I am going to have to remove these paper labels but I'm going to make some plastic ones to stay in here permanently. So you're going to want to water them in really good. Make sure they get an inch of water a week. They're going to come up and when they're about six inches tall, you're going to want to start mounding the soil or compost around them. You can use straw if you wish, but just make sure that it is organic so there are no pesticides used on it and that it is free of seeds because sometimes when you get straw, it can have a lot of weed seeds in it that will germinate on top of your potato bed. But if it does, just bury it with some more soil and more straw. We will be using compost in our new bed. We will mound it up against the stem. Every time it grows a little bit more, we're gonna add some more compost and hill these beds up into a nice mound. Then when the potatoes start to put on a bloom and their flowers are setting, we're just gonna sit and wait and watch. And when they're all done blooming, we know during that time that the tubers are setting and we're gonna have lots of potatoes being made. So make sure that they get water and nutrition if they need it. As soon as they're done with that, they're gonna start to turn yellow. And as they turn yellow and fall over and die, you know it's time to dig up your potatoes. Now, you don't have to do this in a raised bed. As you can see, we have it just on top of our mulch. You can also do it in containers. A few years ago, we did a great video on growing potatoes in a grow bag. Check it out, I'll leave the link. Potatoes are heavy feeders, so if you're not using compost, make sure you do add some all-purpose fertilizer as well. Most potato varieties are around 100 days. Some are 90 to 120 
20 days. So look up your variety and find out how many days you should expect before you start to see those leaves yellowing. It'll give you a good indication of when to be prepared to dig them up. Potatoes are one of the most rewarding crops to grow because it's always such an amazing discovery when you dig down into the soil and turn it up and you find all of those potatoes that have been growing hidden out of sight all these months. So make sure that you give it a try. It's the easiest thing to do. Who doesn't love some boiled potatoes, mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes? Mm. Rosemary roasted potatoes are my favorite. I just chop them up into bite-sized pieces, coat them with olive oil, salt, and pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic powder, and lots of fresh chopped rosemary from the garden. You will love it. 350 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. And how could we forget french fries and potato chips? Homemade is the best. You will love it. Even these purple ones. Can you imagine what that'll look like on your plate? Beautiful. And what had, what made that happen?